Hi, this is video two of the slightly more challenging ratio type problems. I hope you find them useful. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question, compare your solution. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at slightly more challenging ratio problems. This one particularly is very wordy, but please do stop the video, have a go at the question and then compare your solution. OK, so we've got red marbles, blue marbles and green marbles in the bag. We've got ratio of red to marbles that are not red is three to seven and green to not green, which is seven to 18. OK, oh my gosh. OK, so let's have a look and see if we can put that into some sort of way of approaching this particular question. So let's have a look at what we've got at the moment. We've got red to not red. OK, well, that's going to be three to seven okay and then we've got green to not green and that's going to be seven to 18. okay now what you might see is that red to not red means that we've got 10 parts okay or 10 items okay green to not green means that we've got 25 parts OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the number of parts the same for both ratios and I'm going to choose 50 parts. So if I multiply each of these by five, I'm going to get 50 parts. Now, if I do that, what it means then is I've got three times five is 15 and seven times five is 35. So ratio of red to not red is going to be 15 to 35. Let's have a look now at green to not green. And again, I want to make that um, 50. So I'm going to multiply it by two. So this is now 50 parts. OK, so I've got the same number of parts for the ratio, which is good. So that's going to be 14 and 18 times 2 is 36. OK, so in both cases now, both ratios, I've got 50 parts altogether, which means then I can write this as red uh, to blue to green, which is what the question is asking. Always be very careful about these because sometimes, and I do it myself, you can kind of lose marks if you don't go back to the question and just make sure you get the right ratio. So at the moment, we know that red is going to be 15 and we know that green is going to be 14. So 15 and 14. So it remains then that we need to figure out the value of the blue marbles. Well, the blue, bear in mind, we've got 50 parts altogether. Blue is then going to be 50, take away 15, take away 14. And when we work all of that out, we should get 21. So blue would be 21 red would be 15 and green would be 14 and that would then be if you want to add those all up together you will get 50 all together so in this particular case now we know that that is the ratio of red to blue to green marbles okay now the other thing which this sometimes will do is it says give your answer in its simplest form that is in its simplest form because there is no number that will divide into 15, 21 and 14. OK, so just be very careful about that. That is already in its simplest form. Occasionally you get those sorts of questions. OK, let's have a look then at question number four, which is the final question in this particular uh, video. Uh, points A, B, C and D lie in order on a straight line. OK, so let's put them in order in straight line and we'll create a kind of visual sort of reference that we can use for this particular question. So what we've got then is a straight line with A, B, C and D. Now, A to B, it says, is going to be one and B to D is going to be three. OK, then it says A to C is going to be 7 and C to D is going to be 
8. So again, we've got a similar problem to the one that we had in question number 3, where at the top we have 4 parts. And at the bottom, we have 15 parts. OK, well, we really do need to make the number of parts the same for the top of the line and the bottom of the line. So we're going to make the same and we're going to use 60. OK, that just seems like a reasonably easy way of doing it, because then I can multiply this by 15 and I can multiply this by four. So what I'll end up with is exactly the same line with A, B, C and D. But what I'm going to do is I've got these four parts and I mentioned that I was going to multiply it by 15. So the top is going to be multiplied by 15. So this is going to be one times 15 is 15. OK, and then three times 15 is 45. So now I've got the top broken into 60 parts. OK, what I'm going to do then is do exactly the same for the bottom. So this is going to be now 28 because I'm multiplying by four. And this is going to be 32 because I'm also multiplying eight by 4 will give me 32. OK, so I'm now in a position where I can break this up into the A to B or AB to BC to CD ratio. So I've got A, B to B, C to CD. OK, let's have a look at that then. So A to B, well, that's easy enough. That's 15. OK, B to C, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it just at the moment. C to D is going to be 32. Now you remember that I said before it's going to be 60 parts so it's entirely up to you how you do it. What you could do is you could say well I know that 32 add 15 is going to be 47. 47 from 60 is going to be 13. OK, hopefully that's all right for you. Or another way of doing it is just simply to look at the diagram here OK, you can say up to this point, it's 28 and up to this point, it's 15. So the difference between 28 and 15 is going to be 13. But either way, you need to make sure that you've got 60 parts all together. And 15 add 13 add 32 is going to be 60. OK, so hopefully that's OK for you. The A to B to B to C to C to D is 15 to 13 to 32. OK, if you're not sure about any of that, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I hope you found the videos useful and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.